Hello everyone. Um, today let's see what are trial enclosures and uh, what happens if a function is having more than uh, three completions handler or more than two completions handlers. So what happens uh, when we call that particular functions with this uh, particular closure methods. Now let's start with a single closure where I have a function uh, which parses the service response let's say which takes the status code which is int and let's say it's having only one completion handler which is which doesn't take anything and doesn't return anything now let's say I am calling this now what happens status 200 I pass let's say the moment that I select this and I tap on enter what happens as it is a trial enclosure uh, which is the last parameter of this function now it, it doesn't need this on completion parameter name directly you can write whatever you want to write in this case it is fine as you are parsing the service response and you know like okay this is the completion handler now what if it is having more than one uh, completion handler let's say uh, it is on success and on failure let's say it is uh, it also doesn't have any parameters and doesn't return anything and what if service response is empty let's say you are fetching a list of products and there are no products in the server so it also the same type of closure let's assume now Technically, this is having three completion handler on success, on failure, and on empty. Now, what happens because of this trailing closures concept? The moment I try to call this function, okay, status 200 I have given. Now, I highlight on success, tap on it. On success is there, why? Because it is not the trailing closure. On failure, also, you can see the parameter name, but on empty, as it is being the trailing closure, it will be remote. Now, what happens? it is somehow it is not readable why because on success okay this is what I'm gonna do on failure okay this is what I'm gonna do and what is this so if it is not there in the picture uh, what is this it, it's very confusing right instead of this what we can do is I'm just doing the control Z now you give the status 200 now instead of starting with the first completion handler you start with the last one on empty on failure on success here you go nothing got remote and your completion handlers are clear now what you write what you're going to write when the service response is successful goes here on failure goes here on empty goes here that means other developer will understand okay if the, if the list is empty okay this is what we're gonna do I hope this is helpful and hope now we're clear on what are trailing closures and how to avoid this removal of parameters of closures if it is if we need it though it is a trial enclosure like on empty thank you